Oh my god. Hello gals, blokes, and all of the folks, my name is Mortius, this is Ella, and if you haven't started skipping past the intro yet, then you are in luck, because we, or apparently just me, because she's done being in the chair after the third take, have a very, very, very exciting announcement for you. We are finally back with merchandise. I have been working with an amazing local company who I really, really enjoyed working with to completely revitalize the merchandise side of things. Come back up, Ella. Come back up. So, we have a couple really cool designs over on the website now. We of course have the classic Mortius logo, that nice M with the tie, but the two that I am most excited about are our Ella merchandise. Mwah. So within the Ella merchandise, there are two options. There is one that is the full body Ella with the headphones and the tie, but if you're someone like me who doesn't love really full body graphic tees or anything like that, we do also have this very stylish and subtle left chest of just Ella's face with the headphones. This is something that I genuinely think I'm just going to wear like around in day-to-day -day life. As soon as I get the sweatshirt version of the left chest one, I honestly think I'm just gonna wear it like all the time. I really genuinely am such a fan of the way this works. And since last Tuesday, as of the time of this coming out, was my birthday, we are still in the birthday week celebration. So if you go on the website and make a purchase before March 25th, you can use the cord Co use the cord, use the code MORT314 to get $3.14 off of your purchase because I thought it would be fun to have the discount be based on my birthday. So you can get $3.14 off any purchase and not only will you get that discount, anyone who uses that code showing me that they purchased it within the time frame will also get a free gift from me that I'm keeping a surprise until you get it included in their package. So please, please check out the merch store. Here's the link right down at the bottom. Thank you, Mason. As well as down in the description, you can find it as well. I'm really, really excited for this. I hope you all enjoy the merch. I am planning on more drops, including a Pride Month drop that's going to have some new merch as well. So be on the lookout for that, but please go support this. Uh, and I really, really hope to see you over at the merch side of things. Oh! And by the way, for you patrons or people who might be interested in becoming patrons, by the time this video comes out, there are also going to be new perks over on the Patreon, which are just lasting percentage discounts at different tiers. So check that out as well. But without any further ado, we are not here just to talk about merch. We are here for Jeff Castellucci's Sound of Silence. Oh my goodness, I am so, so, so excited for this. I've already heard such amazing things, which of course, you know, does not surprise me in the slightest that this one is going to be amazing. I am very, very excited for it. Let's go ahead and get our ambience ready. Ooh, it's black. So I'm so, 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 so excited for Jeff's cover of Sound of Silence. I've heard from a couple people, including some who I really, really respect the opinions of musically, that not only is this cover as amazing as I expect it to be, but I think he, from what I heard, just really did something new with it. Because of course, so many people have done covers of Sound of Silence, especially in the bass world. So the idea that not only is this going to be a Jeff cover of such an iconic song, but the idea that he took it and just made it his own in such a beautiful way, like, I have no idea what I'm in for, but I'm so, 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 so excited for it. Almost as excited as I am for my merch drop. Ha ha ha. There's the little trick for people who just skipped through until they saw the background change. <laughs> but honestly, I'm just really, really, really excited for this. I don't think I have too much else to say. It's already kind of a long intro because of the merch thing. So honestly, without any further ado, let's hop right on in to The Sound of Silence, a bass singer cover by Jeff Castellucci. Let's go. Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh. Ah, 
I heard a piano note. Oh God. Wait, maybe actually include this Mason because that's even just the realization that it's just probably going to be him at the piano. Like uh, that one. Oh shoot, what did I just react to? Oh, I'm already forgetting the name of it, but I'm very, very excited for this. Oh, all right, let's actually do this. I'm curious if this is gonna have acapella elements to it, or if it's just gonna be like that uh, song that I reacted to recently that I cannot remember the name of right now, but it's just him in the white room with the piano. High and dry, there we go, I got there. Is this gonna have acapella, or is this just gonna be Jeff and the piano today? What? Hold on. I just, the first, that happened twice, but the first time it happened, I genuinely thought I was hearing like noise from the construction yard outside our house. There's this just, this like low hum with a little bit of audio distortion that comes in there. It literally sounds like I'm inside that sound. Oh my God, even before the first word. Who? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Oh my God. Because a vision softly creeps. What is this audio design? The like, this is like, oh, this is haunting. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seat while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains Within the sound of silence Oh my God, this is so, the audio design, the echoes and the distortion, it feels like Jeff's cover is being played through like a crackly old timey radio and I am inside that radio where all of the mechanics and crackling and just music and sound are just all encompassing around me. This is incredible. That was planted in my brain. And the fact that the piano is so high, like you've got this like the everything I've already talked about, but then the balance, the the sort of war between the high, beautiful piano and the low haunting vocals. God, this really just he is creating an experience. Still remains within the sound of silence. <sighs> In restless dreams I walked alone. Narrow streets of trouble. <sighs> Arrow. Like that's so, so low. Stone, <laughs> streets of cobblestone. Stone. Like that just stone. The way he hits those three notes without sliding is amazing. Narrow streets of cobblestone. Like he's not, it's not stone. It's stone, but hit fast. Narrow streets of cobble, stone. Like, that's really cool. Neath the halo of a street lamp, I turn my collar to the cold and damp. <sighs> when my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon lamp. The 
neon light. Jeez. God, it's so, oh, I just like came to my neck. Who did the production for this? Because you wanted to end the life of anyone wearing stereoscopic headphones. I'm convinced of it, but like in a good way. Oh my god. People hearing without listening. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? Yeah, hit me with that again. People hearing without listening. Oh my god. People writing songs that voices never share. I tried to reach for the pause button and then it just like stunned me into what into silence <laughs> no i people writing songs that voices never shared no one dare disturb the sound of silence And the doom, 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 and the stereo. Oh my god. And the echo we just ta, ta, happening. Oh. Fools that I ah. <laughs> I need, I need. <laughs> Hold on. Fools that I do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words that I That I might reach you, but my world. I, I, I didn't want to stop it, but there's things I wanted to talk about, Jeff. Fools that I do not know. Is it here? Silence like a cancer grows. Oh, I went back too far, but. Dude, what? The way they all hear my words that I might and just go to those quiet ooze in the background? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? I, Silence like a cancer grows. And those harmonies that and then just It's like it's like my favorite thing that I talk about so often, but without the resolution to it, which I would normally hate, but it's so perfect for the, again, I keep using this word, haunting nature of this song. Oh, uh, and then the just the. Take my arms that I might reach you. God. i uh -huh.
Dude! I, ugh. I wiggled my mouse at one point so that I could see what the timestamp was so that I could go back to it. Cause I didn't want to stop that. And now I'll actually go back and pause and talk about it. But I just needed to let that go for a little bit. Oh my God. Echo. And the, the, uh, the, wait, echo, echo. He literally echoes the word echo. I. <sighs> Just all of that, the be- Oh! They even do a little subtle key change! That's so beautifully arranged that I didn't even notice it the first time! I'm yelling! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mason! <sighs> Listen to the background. That is just like a three second build up to er, the three second key change that just so perfectly takes you. It changes the tempo. It changes the key. It changes the energy all in like just in those four notes across like three seconds, they change all. Woo! It's so good. And that, well, like, oh. And the people bowed and like, out and like that's so beautiful and is he mixing there does jeff ever mix i can't think of any other time where he's not just either in falsetto or just belting but that's about and sounded pretty mixed to me have we correct me in the comments but like when have we ever heard jeff castellucci mix Ooh. They made Oh, okay. Yeah. Guys. That's my favorite thing. He did it. In the, I even talked Earlier, I literally talked about how he did the thing and didn't resolve it, which was perfect for the haunted, melancholy feeling of the time. And now he comes back and he's like, nah, nah, Mortius, you're getting it. And the resolution, because now it's big. Now it's hopeful. The way that this man's arrangements can convey emotion purely through the musicality of them, and then embodied by his performance, is just legendary. It's so good. Like... If you're here, you've been to enough Jeff and voice play covers that I don't need to explain what he did. You've heard it before. You've heard me talk about it. But just the way that he just like, all the instruments, dukka 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 vocals, da 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 Like, it's so well done here. <laughs> so good! Subway walls, like man, he's just killing this. The way sound, sound, like that's so good.
way he just and takes it right back to where we started it. There's Jeff at a piano. Oh my gosh. Well done, sir. That was, oh man, that was so good. Yeah, and the way, like, the energy of taking it from the quiet, serene, somber, all the way to this high point of hope, and then it's back to, of silence. And then the way that he goes back, but he doesn't leave it on a note of no hope. It's, you know what? The middle section, or not the middle section, the climax isn't hope. It's, it's the energy that you can be hopeful for. The reason I say that it's not hope is because the ending is hope. It's melancholy. It's somber. It's sad. And then it goes up into, no, this is what it could be. This is what we should be feeling. And then the end is, but this is where I am now. But then the backgrounds come in and show, oh, but, you know, maybe there's a little bit of hope to get there. At least, that was my interpretation of it. And that's what's so amazing about music like this, is that it can create an entire story in someone's mind and heart that maybe the artist intended. If I ever have the chance to talk to Jeff, I'll ask him. And maybe I'm just reading too far into it. But either way, that's what I got out of that. And I think that that's beautiful. Well, oh man, thank you guys so much for being here for this. Thank you guys so much for just everything you do. It's another year of Mortius and just, <laughs> man, I'm just, oh. this is so, it's such a joy to get to do this for you all, really. So thank you all so much for recommending this as if I wasn't going to do it. But thank you for recommending it anyway. Thank you to my patrons for making things like this possible. Just as a reminder, because I'm so excited about it, I can't not say it again. There is merch on the, there is merch. Link in the description. Whoa, look what that does to my green screen. Ha, that's kind of fascinating. Merchandise, go check it out. I would really appreciate it. Use the code MORT315, no, MORT314 for discount. And as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. <laughs>